Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Kane Productions, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 modding tutorials. Today we are on episode 11, and today I'm going to show you how to upload your mod. So, it's been a long time coming. I haven't uploaded one of these videos for a while, but I'm finally going to do one, and today we're going to upload our mod. So, this right here is just something I typed up and it's really just what's going to be in the description so i have my mod right over here infection open in steam and what i'm going to show you is this right here is in this description okay and then i also have this picture which is going to be the thumbnail and that is this so that's what this picture is i couldn't figure out how to do this for a while after I first uploaded Infection. As you can see in the change notes, like at the very bottom, I uh, I had to upload it a few times before it would work. But anyways, what I want you guys to go and do is go into your mod, take a few screenshots. When you close Hearts of Iron, you should get something like this, but you should see the pictures. And then you're gonna click show on disk and it's gonna take you right to where all your screenshots are so these are some of the screenshots from infection and um, that one's not up anymore but something like this should be up uh, so these are some of the screenshots I took for the infection mod and some of them are still up there today but basically all I did was drag the uh, the pictures I'm putting up into a separate folder I made called the YouTube tutorial mod just on my desktop with this which is right here and then pictures just to easily upload them to Steam then have your uh, documents open with your mod file there and make sure you name this thumbnail the exact same as your mod so with infection I have the infection picture right here and it's called infection so I did that and then I'm just gonna drag that into there so once we upload it that's what it should look like it should pop up and everything should be good if I did this right so I'm gonna go ahead and up um, or start hearts of iron 4 here and once it pops up we're gonna go to mods YouTube tutorial and we're gonna click mod tools upload mod and then YouTube tutorial and here we go we're gonna fetch the info it says it doesn't exist on Steam we're gonna upload a new mod and we're gonna click upload so there we go this is it uploading to Steam here and it's gonna go in as YouTube tut you can change the uh, the title on Steam but I'm gonna show you what that does once you do that so it's gonna take a little bit to upload this mod but it should we should get a complete all right so you can see it says mod upload okay so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to your library hearts of iron 4 steam workshop then you're gonna go to your files files you've posted and right here YouTube tutorial it looks like the uh, the thing right here didn't work so we'll go ahead and update it in just a second I guess I have to do capital T U T but we're gonna change a few things here. First, we're going to add and edit images and videos. Then we're gonna choose files, and I'm gonna go to my desktop and just select the thing. All right, so here we go, pictures. And I think, no, you can't uh, file or shift click them. So we're just gonna do this. There we go, and you just go down the line here. All right, I guess I clicked it one too many times. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Also, if you want to add a YouTube video, you can do that right here, but I didn't make one for this. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so there we go. I'm going to attach my YouTube video, which is my first modding tutorial. I'm going to save and continue here. So you can see our mod is 50 megabytes. That's mainly because of this artwork. The artwork takes up a lot of space. So now we have uh, our title. We're going to call this the YouTube tutorial mod. And we're going to copy and paste all this. Now I recommend putting this into a text document because every time you upload this mod or update it, it gets rid of... Um, 
what you put here. It screws it up. So we're going to keep that like that. And there we go. Looks pretty nice. And then this is going to need to change. All right. So here I kind of screwed it up again. And I told you all some stuff that you don't really need to know because it doesn't work still. So I'm just going to skip the 15 minutes where I try and figure out how to do this and get you to the good stuff where it actually works after, you know, about five, five seconds of elevator music for dramatic effects. Yeah, that'll work. All right, guys, <laughs> so I've been doing this, but I completely screwed up um, with this right here. Uh, so what I did was I changed this to thumbnail. I've updated this three times now, still didn't work, and then I freaking figured it out. But bear with me, I have not done this for a million years. So <laughs> basically, you're going to want to put in your .mod um, file, so for me right here, uh, the picture and then the name of the picture dot jpeg so if i put thumbnail in theory this should work so now if i go ahead and i run hearts of iron 4 and then i go to mods click on it oh not this uh mod tutorial <laughs> upload mod the YouTube tutorial mod here and then make sure you click fetch info so that it can say that it found it on the Steam Workshop. Sometimes like with infection at least when I renamed it um, on the Steam Workshop it couldn't find it and then I, ha I had a panic attack because it said it was gonna release a brand new mod and I didn't want that. So make sure that your mod name and your Steam Workshop name is the same. So what I mean is your mod name right here and then your Steam Workshop name right here. So if I click Upload now, this is also how you'd update your mod once you make changes. You do this exact same process. It says Mod Upload OK. I'm gonna X out of this, refresh it, and there we go. The tutorial mod finally got that up. But as you can see down here, you have your unique visitors, your current subscribers, and your current favorites. And then also under this item stats, you will be able to see uh, its ratings. So basically, you'll see the total unique, your current favorites, total unique favorites, um, your total ratings, positive and negatives. And it'll also, also show you um, your downloads over here and your visitors. Uh, if I go to the infection mod, you will be able to see the, uh, the trend of how it's, it blew up for a few days, but then it slowed down. So yeah, there you go. So you can see this is like per day, got 10,000 views in a day, uh, 3,000 or downloads in a day. And then uh, it slowed down and now it's just kind of hovers around there. So yeah, that's what it'll look like once your mod starts to uh, get bigger and uh, stays on there for a while. As you can see here, these are your total unique downloads and your total current downloads. Uh, total unique favorites, total current favorites, things like that. And with time, people will unfavorite, people will, um, what is it, delete the mod from their thing. But it's not to worry, that always happens. But uh, yeah, that's basically how you upload your mod. Once again, also I just want to show you here, since I've updated it, it should have broken it. Yes, it did. So right there, it broke it. So you always want to edit this. Make sure you edit this all the time. So then I have to come over here and copy, come over here and paste. And then you want to save it and go back. There you go. So now it's all nice and big. And uh, yeah, and then you can add your links. So like youtube.com, not com forward slash Mr. K Productions. Things like that. I'm going to update all these off camera, but I'm pretty sure that's it. That's all you really need to know. And uh, yeah, hopefully your mod goes well. Make sure to link them in the, or not description, in the comments so that I can check them out for you all. But that's about it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.